Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to be, um, doing a test episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, um, I just want to kind of get, get an idea of how to, like, export it and all that. I mean, I've already done one of, uh, Luigi's Mansion, a series on Luigi's Mansion, but, but I, um, want to um, kind of get an idea of how I would do it with um, Wind Waker because I'm actually um, playing this on a real Nintendo Wii instead of an emulator. Bizarre concept I know. But how long have I been recording? One minute. Okay. But I'm actually going to throw that rock in the ocean and get the rupee, okay. Just swim right over here. And then we want to run back over here. I can never like, have Link move his sword in a specific direction. I'm also really bad at, um, doing, um, a spin attack on command, or on demand. So, yeah. Um, mm hmm <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But, if Link looks kind of weird to you, it's because I started a new game and this is what he looks like. Uh, or I started a new game uh, after beating the game. So this is what he looks like. Now. I'm going to make this widescreen and stuff too, so that's that'll help. So, I think we just need to go back, hold on, we just need to talk to Tetra. Wow, that's a de decrepit old shield. Are you sure that you can, I don't know why I'm using the EGAD voice for, wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you going to use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And here we go. I'm actually muting my um TV so that the audio doesn't go back into the microphone. So, yep. I'm actually using my um, regular uh, save file instead of the, um, or I, no, I'm actually using the uh, New Game Plus save file instead of my regular one, or instead of just one that's named Link, just because I'm, um, just because, um, this one's easier to get a little bit further. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, just think about it. I can tell you that you're gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and head and take you back to your island? Yes, look at it, Link, for a very long time. Okay. Drew, listen. Uh, kid, you can't just stand around on that. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report down below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Okay. 
into the big blue boys, turned the ship in full to starboard. We head for the northern seas. Listen, shrimp, you're really creeping me out. <laughs> Stand there like that. So quit, yeah? Stay out of my way, way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Who are you? Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad. But you finding this being the new Swabby and all? New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I tell you, it sound, sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom on the bottom rung in the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, just so long as you don't disobey him. Let's go up here now. Is anybody up here? So, your name's Drew, right? Ha ha ha. That's one word. Get up, you got on there. So, what's the deal? Is that popular? Back on your island, or what? Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an island like that somewhere before. Okay. Who's up here, I wonder? Yo, get out of the way, will ya? Da 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 da. Turn around right now. Climb down. Link will move. Okay, there we go. You can actually push A to um let go of the ladder and then push back up onto it to not fall all the way down and lose health. We have to go down here. Hey, who are you? Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think about it. We Oh, there's um jars up here. I never even knew that. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. I don't know. Eh. That. Oh, wow. Now, ahoy there, Schwabby. As of today, ah. I am your new superior, Nico. I promise I'll go easy on you, so... So you do as I say, okay? Right, no, first off, you have to make the test of all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real carefully, like, so you can cram it all into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. First off, you've got to push the switch. It's the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt up on the control stick to step on it. Press the all switch press. Do. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Whee. Okay, so I was able to pull this one off myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. Do do. If you jump at the right, right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use up and down on the control stick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go and jump on it. So, do you think you can? You know how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start all over. Ugh. How do you get over there? Huh. Oh. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough, yeah. But 
one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. So first, we should probably set these to back down. Then we should go back over here. We should jump on this, if Link will allow us. And now, we should jump up here, and we should not grab the rope. Oops. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling isn't part of the program, Swabby. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. When you're hanging on a rope, you can hold R and then left and right on the control stick to change direction and tilt up and down to change. Climb up and down. <sighs> yeah, I know that. Try it if you don't like the angle of the next jump. Yes, I know. Okay. And now we should run over here and jump up on this button. And then we should go like that, and then like that, and then jump like that. Okay, good, perfect. Amazing, incredible. Yay. What? You did it already? Oh, I, I, I'm quite proud of you as, as my underling. I, I wonder, I wonder if it's okay. I wonder if it's okay to give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before somebody comes. Okay, I'll just kind of slowly walk to get it. And I'll slowly walk over here to pick up these barrels. I've got plenty of time, I'm sure. So I need to walk over these barrels and then break them all. Okay, I'll be a little faster, I guess. There we go. We destroyed a bunch of barrels. Yay. Yay. Okay, we got to open this. If Link will cooperate. You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the item screen to see what's inside. Spoiler, it's Intel. Press Y, Z, or X again to set and use one of those contents. One of its contents. Hey, true, we, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get out here. Not sure. I keep forgetting the voices that I came up with. Ugh. Okay, now I guess we can run up here. Do do. Oh, we have more barrels to break. Yay. I hope Donkey Kong won't mind. Uh, there we go. Okay. And now. Hey, Drew, here I am, up here. Ah, I keep hmm, having trouble with the voices. And climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm sure somebody's already done this. 
already said that, so I'm kind of stealing their joke, but yeah. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me that you were playing some silly game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's a cursed style known as the Forsaken Fortress. There's all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of the no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I know it. Look over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under a really tight guard. This won't work. We'll be spotted before we get anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Link is now in a barrel, and that will, uh, we'll see. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. I don't know who's saying that, so I can't give a voice to it. Three... Two, one, go! I'd like to apologize about the um, banding on the screen. That is due to the component, yes, component cable that I'm using for capturing. In four, as it's in 480p. And now Link falls headfirst into the water. That must not feel very good. Now, we are at the Forsaken Fortress. Now Link swims automatically to the um, area up here. Oh, your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my M was off by a little bit. Heh <laughs> heh. The look on your face, priceless. <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A with points on the edge, you better push that button. I put the stone on your quest ad screen. Press, press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Well, it's visual too. Yeah. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Now we can actually take a look at that. See right here. Pirate's Charm. This is the mysterious stone that the, pirates, the pirate Tetra lent to you. Use it when A with pointies on it appears on it to speak with Tetra. Or a different character. We'll see that eventually. And now I'm just going to be running around here. If we can pick this up. Oh, okay, yeah, we have to actually uh, run around with these barrels on our heads. Because we actually have to go up here. To uh, make these lights. To make these lights up here stop moving. But we can't um, be seen by the light when it's moving. When the light's moving, we can't be in the light. 
we actually just kind of have to run around and um, stop these lights from being operated or from operating. We have to do this on every single one. Oh. Listen up, Drew. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can say that monster, then just maybe it'll shut that searchlight down. Oh, but if you're armed, you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if it could make it drop the weapon. If you did that, you could probably pick up the weapon with A. But that's just me. What will you do? Yeah, actually, what I do is a little bit different than that. What I do is I'll run over here. Pick this up. Grab a stick. Walk up to him. Lock on and just kind of slap him with a stick. Actually, we have to pick up a new stick. We have to just kind of keep doing that. And there we go. He's gone. Whoa, where'd he go? Hmm. Yeah, no, he's defeated. I think I'm going to go up to 25 minutes for this test episode. Um, so yeah, Forsaken Fortress is quite long. Now we get a view of what it looks like. We have to go in here. I'm actually going to save right here. Nah, yeah, yeah, I want to keep playing. Ooh, here's a treasure chest. What's in this one? The compass. Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Press up on the D-pad to view your map and see for yourself. Yay. Wee. Whoop. Uh-oh. I don't like these. Those are called mini blends. You gotta run away from them. And there's rats in here. Rats. There's rats. And this enemy right here is called a moblin. Two moblins. Actually right here. We can't move very much or else they'll see us and then they'll catch us. I think I can just kind of sit right here and be safe. I really don't know. Hmm. Okay, come on. Walk past me. Yeah, I'm just a barrel. Not a I'm not a Hylian or anything. I'm just a barrel. Yep, just keep walking on past. Just keep going. No, don't 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 walk into me. Ugh. Just keep going. Keep going. Walk past me, come on. Ugh. I guess I can't go that way.
I mean, this is a test episode, so... I guess, um... I guess I'm... I guess I can be done now. Well, let's go out here first. So that's what that looks like now. Yeah, I think I actually have to... I'm not really sure where I have to go right now. Oh, I just wasted that 20 rupees, but that's okay. So as you probably know, this is the end of the test episode. Um, this is actually not a real episode, and I, good, I was recording, Whew. okay. So, um, goodbye for now.